The left-wing group Antifa doesn't even pretend to reject violence. They've regularly vandalized property and assaulted people they disagree with, and they've done it proudly on camera. Earlier this month, they showed up at a Unite the Right rally in Washington, but they couldn't find actual fascists to hit. They attacked the press instead. And yet, amazingly, in a remarkable display of both dumbness and masochism, the media still defend them. According to CNN, criticizing Antifa is racist. Now, that may be confusing to you, since most of its members seem to be white. On the other hand, they wear black clothing. Watch. Let's be clear also about what's going on here. The theme here is, I'm Donald Trump, and I'll protect you from the scary black people. Antifa is widely perceived as an African-American organization. Mm. This is about black versus white. This is about Donald Trump's appeal to racism. But wait, you really want to defend Antifa? Aren't they committed to violence? Well, yes, CNN concedes. It's hard to deny that because it's on tape. But they mean well. So lay off. It says it right in the name, Antifa, anti-fascism, which is what they were there um, fighting. Listen, there's, you know, no organization is perfect. There was some violence. Um, no one condones the violence, but there were different reasons for Antifa and for these neo-Nazis uh, to be there. One, racist fascists. The other group, fighting racist fascists. There is a fascist. There is a distinction there. So there you have it. According to CNN, Antifa is a civil rights organization, and you'd have to be a monster to criticize them. Hmm. We decided to ask Antifa what they think about being defended by corporate media, and that's not easy to do, by the way. Antifa doesn't have a headquarters or a formal leadership. A lot of its members wear ski masks and don't want to come on camera. But we did find Scott Crow. He once organized events for Antifa, and he joins us tonight. Scott, do you think it's racist to criticize Antifa? It seems like a pretty white group to me, at least from the pictures. Uh, I think there's a, a, a reason to critique anything that's that's happening, but but the thing is, you're conflating uh, people who are trying to stop people who are calling for genocide and the murder of a uh, wholesale murder of huge populations of people, immigrants, women, uh, calling for rape, and so these people want to stop that uh, physically in some in some instances, but largely behind the scenes. I mean, there's more fascists that wear red ties and blue suits and white shirts on boardrooms and on TV shows and everything than 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 are people on the streets, they just confront fascism and neo-Nazis where they're at. If neo-Nazis come to the street, then Antifa shows up there. Well, I'm, I'm show actually up in to, agreement to with them. you. I do, I do think there are a lot of authoritarians anyway who wear suits and ties for sure. I, I see them every day Absolutely. here in Washington. But I guess the problem that I have is that Antifa reserves for itself the right to hurt people and destroy property on the basis of its judgment about those people. So if I said, I think, Scott Crow, you're a fascist and I burn your house down, you'd say, you know, you're not allowed to burn my house down. It's not up to you to decide whether I'm a fascist or not, wouldn't you? But what about the people who are killing people or who are calling for killing people? Uh, what about the people who are actually engaged in it, who are pulling guns on people, who, are, who have been murdering people, the neo-Nazis, the alt-right, the, the three percenters who have done these things, who have planned huge bombings and stuff? Do we, what do we do about well, I think that? They if, should if be, you people as an American, this is a good question for you, Tucker. Like yeah. you as an American, do you, do you think America's for everybody, right? You agree well, with course, the America's for everybody. Of course. So I think it's for every American. Like, Not okay, everybody so in the world. What about, okay, so immigrants or any other group of people that gets marginalized for any reason uh, that, that b because of just who they are, their ethnicity, their, their race, or, or their uh, origin, you know, where they're, bo where they're born. Okay. You know, do, like, if people are calling to kill for them, do, do you think that you would not stop that? If somebody was coming well, to kill you because on, you're wait, a white guy, you would I know stop you're it. Up. But, but hold on, we have actually a pretty functional legal system, and if you hurt people, Absolute. a lot of Antifa people have been arrested because Antifa is the main perpetrator of violence at these events. I'm for that. I'm for anybody committing violence being arrested. But let me just, I want to get back to the core question. Do you think of Antifa as a civil rights group, an African-American group? We just heard from CNN no, that I, criticizing you was I racist consider, because you're black, but you don't seem black. Well, I mean, they're, they're pundits. They're idiots, just like any other TV show, right? <laughs> they have their opinion about stuff. Now you're on to something. I, okay, now well, we're guess, speaking but, the but, same language. But the thing is, 
but I would say the same for you. I mean, that, that, that you've, you've, you've I'm not an idiot. You may Antifa. disagree with me. I'm not stupid. No, but that's true, right? But you've had people on about Antifa many times, and you have not addressed this at all. You keep acting like it's an organization or it's all these things. It's an idea. It's a set of ideas that has been rooted in this. And if, if anti-fascists didn't rise up the, uh, to stop Holocaust, it would have been worse. If anti-fascists didn't rise up in Spain no, I thought in the, the 1930s, U.S. Army stopped if, if, the Holocaust. But whatever. I don't want to quibble over the details. But look, I mean, I guess the point is, and I'll just stop on this. Give me the one word answer. Does it bother you when people yeah. unilaterally decide they get to hurt other people because they don't like their politics? Do you want to live in that country? Well, that that's a red herring question, and that's, that's a total. A that you're question. baiting me. That's not even. That's not even real. If that's a real question, oh, of course not. Of course, it's a real I mean, question. That's, a, well, that's, that's what Antifa's doing. That's, if that, I get up and say, really I don't true? think we need more immigration, can you hit me in the face with a bike lock? No, right? But so the so the 73 year old woman who said, I may be in a wheelchair, but I can get up and punch a Nazi who is practicing everyday anti-fascism. I mean, does that mean that you are for fascism? You think that people who are not just want to exclude people from this country, but actually want to murder them wholesale or well, put I'm, them in concentration I'm, I'm camps? I'm against murdering I mean, anybody is that Ameri is that wholesale that you're or retail. I'm against murder. I'm against killing. I'm against abortion. <laughs> yes, so, I am. But, but strongly. Oh, look, we're out of time. I'm sorry. Scott, I appreciate your coming on. I hope you will come back. I will give you a fair hearing, as you just saw. So thank you for doing that. We've got new information tonight on an off-grid extremist compound in America. Not a lot of coverage of the story. It's interesting. We've got details. Stay tuned.